Welcome. In this video, we'll show you what you need to know when you want to work with a T2125 form. This video will cover the basics of working with that form, and you'll learn where to fill in the business address, where to enter the main product of the business, how to select the industry code, and filling out the income sections. We will also talk about forms associated to the T2125 and mention how to allocate the percentage for the partner or the spouse. So let's start out with the T2125. Now, in case you don't have the form up, you can use this search field up above and just type in T2125 and then it'll bring up the form available. Start out with the identification section. You'd have to have your name, which is filled out by profile. Your business name, of course, you'd have to fill this in. Account number, you'd have to fill that in. Your fiscal period, pick whether it's a calendar year or any of the other options. Select yes or no for was 2016 your last year of business. Your main product, this is probably going to be one of your important fields to fill out. So what your main product or service is for that uh, business. In this case, I put real estate. And you can select the industry code by doing a drop down or press F6 and that will bring up this selection dialog window. We're looking for real estate, so we're going to use the keyword real estate or real and I can select whichever code or description applies to the business or main product that that client deals with. I just select this one here and then it's gonna fill in the industry code in the field. Tax shelter identification number if you have one, partnership business number if you have that available uh, this here is um, filled in by profile. If you have the information of the preparer uh, percentage, I will talk about later on how to allocate the percentage of partnership. So in the next section is the internet business activities. Those are for clients that have an internet business. They would have to fill in or you'd have to fill in the information for that client. Then we have the section where there is the business income. So they would have to, if they have business income, they would have to fill this out. Uh, the amounts that get inputted from the slips are applied here. So a T4 slip, T4A slip, fees for services, T4A box 28, and so on. And then you have your GST and other uh, other information that would be inputted. So you know that if it's in black, then you would have to input the information if you have it. The blue will be coming in from another form that you fill out. For example, here is the, the slips. Then the section for the professional income. If it's professional income, this, this section here would have to be filled out. Again, knowing that the black text you'd have to fill in and the blue comes from other forms or slips. Part three is the gross business or professional income. Part four is the cost of goods sold and gross profit. If they have the information for that, you'd have to fill it in to here. And then your expenses would be applied here to your business expenses, whether it's advertising, meals, and so on. The motor vehicle expenses, uh, we'll talk about uh, the associated forms. So the one of the associated slips we've, we've um, seen up above for the professional and the uh, business income. For the uh, motor vehicle, it is the bus auto and that if you fill that in for uh, motor vehicle expenses it will 
be applied, the amounts will be applied into this section here. And you'd have to fill in the rest if you have any more uh, information. And then your net income losses will be calculated. Other amounts, if you have that information. Home business expense, so if they um, have a business at home that they use, you can fill in the information here. And then the details of the partners. Now I did mention uh, the allocation of the percentage for partners. If you apply a percentage at the bottom here for the spouse, for example, if there's a spouse uh, that's associated to this return, if you put in 50%, it will calculate the share. And you'll notice if you go above that the percentage of the partnership now becomes 50-50. Now the same will apply to the partner. So if they do have a partner, they can allocate the percentage here, put the partner's name, last name, and then they can put the percentage in. Say for example, this partner is only 25% partner of the business, then you'll have a 25-75 percentage. So aside from the business auto, uh, for the associated forms. You also have the T2125 asset. You can fill in the asset details. You have the T2125 CCA. So these are actually associated. So you have T2125 CCA and the T2125 asset. The T2125 CCA summary the T2125 CEC, Cumulative Eligible Capital, and the T2125 Comparative throughout the five years. Now you'll notice that some of these have a number one, like for example this bus auto or the T2125. If you ever need to create another uh, form so in actually with these type of forms you're able to create multiple forms like for example if you want to create another T1 uh, sorry T2125 number 2 you can just simply right click and create a new form and that will create a number 2 you can also do that with the business auto you have a second vehicle the asset, asset list, the CCA, and CCA summary, and also the T2125 CEC, and the comparative. So these are the associated forms, and to create multiple forms, you just have to right click and create a new form. Also another quick tip, you have the option to uh, close the form, new form, print form, and so on. But there's an option under the form menu which gives you the ability to create the new form which we had uh, available under the right click, clear form or delete form. In case you ever have a form that may have uh, come from previous year and no longer is a business um, that is associated to this individual, you can clear the form and delete the form by going into the form menu. For Inchwood Profile, I just want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeffrey.